All right, it's going. It's going. Okay, so straighten up, guys. How's this? I'm just That's kidding. My posture. I don't care. Sorry. Oh, dear. He just sucked it in. He's <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Norm. This um, is... Cut. Take two. Hi, everyone. I'm cut. Norm. <laughs> take two. Three. Who's going first? You. We're not talking. <laughs> We're done. Jenny's just no. being ridiculous. Uh, well, then you can introduce yourself. Anyway. Nope, you do it. You do it. It's on you, dear. All right. Well, who, do I introduce you as my, my wife and our friend Jenny? Well, yeah. how else would you introduce me? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I could just be like, this is Norm, this is Lisa, this is Jenny. This should probably be the introduction, because this is what's real. <laughs> Norm, Norm's wife, Lisa, Jenny, friend of Norm and Lisa. Yeah. Right. Besties for life. She's my barnacle boy. So I think now that you know who we are, um, go ahead, Norm. <coughs> All right. This is, uh, this is a channel that we're starting. We're, we're calling it Shelf Control. It's going to be our journey through our board gaming collection. Uh, should I give a little bit of my history first? Sure, go for yeah. it. All right, I've been a gamer pretty much my, my whole life. As a single child, I pretty much played every game by myself. By single child, I think you're meaning only child? Because I would assume <laughs> <laughs> most children are single. As a single child. As a single child. He was an only child, as you can tell by his lack of social skills. <laughs> The board game. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. So Norm was a single only child. <laughs> it started out in Canada many years ago. But well, I'd say my, my first foray into games was Magic the Gathering. Most people that's that's their their starting game. And uh backing it up. We're gonna get more professional, guys. Don't worry. And then from uh, from Magic Gathering, I got out of that because of the the cost, and got into the uh, card game Legend of the Five Rings. And when I won a small store tournament for L Five R, I used the store credit to pick up Settlers of Catan to give that a try and played that for quite a while. And then I was intrigued by the game Cosmic Encounter, who was designed by the same person who did Magic the Gathering. And this is the, the box I've got here. This is the 1986 version because I, I couldn't find any new copies anywhere. I had to get an old copy. And this is a hybrid of two different versions all put together. I'll have to go through this and uh, and see what's still there because I've got the new edition. I oh, haven't, haven't really played that one to know how it goes. So can I ask a question? Yes. First of all, you're telling me that you won a tournament. In L5R. Legend of the Five Rings. And that's what, okay. All this right. is what he bought with this it. Is, no, he so bought I Settlers, bought of, Settlers Catan. of Catan. Yeah, yeah, that. yeah. I was just the whole, he won a... Uh, Tournament. Yeah. Game tournament. He's gone to Indiana. Oh. To play tournaments. I See, played I didn't, even, I didn't even know this. And the World of Warcraft tournaments really? at, at Gen Con. I okay. didn't place in any of them. Okay, okay. Well But one, it got me to Gen Con. He's taken me to Gen Con one day. I didn't even know there was a Gen Con. There's so many cons. I'm a Gen. <laughs> we'll have to host our own Gen Con. <laughs> <laughs> So that held me over for a while. And then uh, some friends of mine from college, we started playing these, these games and we decided that we were going to actually have a group that would get together weekly to play games. And the game that caught my eye and was my first purchase for this modern game hobby of mine was December of... 2009 mm. and we picked up 
Twilight Imperium 3rd Edition and the first expansion. The second expansion hadn't been created yet. That came out in 2011. And so we played this every weekend for I don't know how long. We would just take the whole day and just play this until our brains melted out of our ears. And we would play it over and over and over again. And I can understand your brain bleeding out of your ears. So, yeah, it's... I know nothing about this. And game. we've we've played this a few times with our son, who really likes it. And we've... Um, for Christmas or Father's Day, you got the fourth edition. I have, I have the fourth edition. And I played it a couple times at three players. Not the same as getting together every weekend and playing it with eight. Like no. this guy right here. No. But we'll get there. How many can play on the fourth edition? Uh, fourth edition is six, but the expansion that I haven't got bumps it up to eight, I believe. Okay. So we're eager to play that one with Jenny and, and get our son David over and play that either for a player or um, get some other folks in and, and play that one with more. But that that's a game you'll have so to commit to. Is this a more, like, the more you have, the more people that are playing, the, the more fun it is? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. There, okay. There's sure. a lot of politicking and making deals with oh, other players. Interesting. Yes. And when you have three players, I mean, you kind of have your own section of the galaxy. I mean, you're not, gotcha. there's not a lot of. Gotcha. Okay. Good to know. It's not as busy in the sky. I see. So since this game, I've entered in all of my games into Board Game Geek and not counting expansions. My collection is now up to, I believe, 187 or something like that. And I would say more if I were to guess, but. So, so we're going to be going going through those, but before we talk about that, let's go with Lisa. So I started gaming um, after he had been involved in gaming. I played. It was in 2011. I tried Battlestar Galactica, and this was a super fun game. I enjoyed it a lot. We had a group of friends over, and um, just. It was just a lot of fun being a Cylon, not being a Cylon, accusing people of being Cylons, and just just the fun of of that. And so I was a pilot, and I was a darn good pilot, <laughs> even though I was accused of being a Cylon when I wasn't. And there's some hard feelings still to this day about it. But <laughs> it's, a, it's a really good game. I'm looking forward to playing it with you. I think this game we ended up playing our, our kids. Um, our son was home from college on... Thanksgiving or Christmas break, one of those Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving. and I, he had a couple friends over. It was uh, a whole bunch of people, and we ended up staying up till four or five a.m. playing this one, and we didn't get any sleep before the next day of Thanksgiving dinner. But it was a lot of fun, and that's what that's what started our son into the whole gaming trek. I think this one wasn't it. Yeah, I believe yeah. so. And then from here, um, I played Stone Age. Wait, but before that, oh, for, for, for Jenny's benefit, this game is what they call a, a co-op, mm -hmm. where we all work together, mm -hmm. except there are... Except the baddie. ...hidden traitors mm -hmm. who want, who win the game if everybody else loses. And mm -hmm. so whoever is the Cylon has to keep that fact hidden right and sabotage. look like you're helping while sabotaging yeah. okay this sounds like the video game the girls play um among Fortnite? us among us oh. yep that's exactly what it sounds like is that so yes there's, okay. there's going to be tasks that we have to complete in order to survive to get to the end yeah 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 and there's ways that the the cylon player can make it look like he's helping Gotcha. But throwing some wrenches in the works. Okay. And you know how it is when wrenches get in the works. Accusations it's... start flying. And you may be a darn good pilot, but you're accused of being a Cylon. Huh? A little bitter still after Hasn't gotten 11 years. She holds on to things. A few grudges. And so after that. So after this, I think the next game I played um, was Stone Age. And we actually played that with our younger son, and that he is not a gamer. He does not enjoy board games, but he enjoyed that one. 
and that kind of opened us up to Defenders of the Realm, which he liked a lot. And so the, the four of us, the two of us and the two boys would play that um, every now and then. So that's, I think, the extent of what our youngest son will play. But that has just exploded from there. And our young, our oldest will play just about everything we bring to the table. His favorite, I think, is 51st State. I believe so. Um, and then, of course, just over the years and our whatever number count of games he has, he's probably played a lot of those. So that was my introduction to the gaming world. And since then, um, I, I've gotten better at games and I'm enjoying games. So. All right. Jenny. I'll go. It's your turn. Will you pass it to me? Okay, perfect. I'm ready. Okay, so I'm Jenny. And even though they're making it sound like I've never been played any board games ever in my life. I've actually been, since 1942, an avid gamer, <laughs> and um, I have a, a collection that ex it spans about 3,000 games. So I'm you're 80 kidding. years old. I'm you about 80. Fabulous. Thank you. Fabulous. <laughs> it's coconut oil is what it is. Uh, so I got... Lisa and I became friends. Known Norm for a long time through church, but Lisa and I became friends, and... The first game that I was introduced to that was not uh, Monopoly, Sorry, or something. And none of that played. was introduced that was not to her from here. Them. No, 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 no. Those no. kind of games are not allowed in this house. <laughs> this man has just forbidden them to pass the threshold of the front door. <laughs> to be honest, I didn't even know there were real games. I thought that was those were real games. So the first game they had me play was dun, 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 Wingspan. And uh, I won the first time. <laughs> Excuse me, I, this is my time. It's your time. Okay. Enjoy I won it. the first time, which shocked me. Like, because it, it was, uh, to me, this was extremely... She's never going to let that one go. Can I please? Ever. No, we're talking. I, okay, sidebar. So, to me, it was extremely complex compared to every other game I'd ever played because there were multiple different things you could do and multiple different components. But I... Uh, sunk my teeth into it and I really, really liked it. However, so this is the one that got me started and I'm super thankful for that and it's a beautiful game also if you haven't ever played it but you should have by now. <laughs> uh, what they did to me immediately after that, I'm going to tell you because they may not, oh. <sighs> was they uh, had me play Terraforming Mars. Now you can't bring somebody in on wings. Well, to pref it, let's, let, let me just, the sidebar... So after she grabbed this one, she just took to this game so much. Norm looked at me after she'd gone home and said, I think she'll grasp terraforming Mars just as quickly. And I thought, well, God bless her because that's a heavy game. And I was like, I'm, I'm up for it if you are. So the next time she came. No. That's no. what happened. Yeah, it was terrible. I was terrible. I mean, they were. Fun. Was it that one or Feast for Odin? No, Feast for no, Odin. No, that came way later. later. That Way came later. later. Yeah. 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 No, it no. was terrible. So, yeah. And it wasn't terrible. Uh, it was for me. She didn't do well. I did she not. She didn't do well. Do well. No. I didn't understand what we were doing. And now that we have played a few more games and we've gone back, I definitely understand what, what is happening. Now, I'm not saying I got any better at it. But so what I, she's saying is, if you want to introduce new people to games, uh, not that the one. best way to do it is wingspan <laughs> into terraforming Mars, no. then circling <laughs> back to terraforming right. Mars after. No, yeah. yeah, months and months later, bring it back, don't, and then she'll be like, oh, this isn't as bad now that I've played everything else. do terraforming Mars to any new body. New any new body. new body. Any new body. They're not, not gonna, it's gonna. Not, not for babies. It made me, <laughs> I just wanted to go back to Wingspan, and then I, it did break a little bit of trust, I'm gonna tell you guys, because I was like, I don't, maybe these other games are not, gonna, they're gonna be terrible. You know, and we've started, oh, that's, ooh, that's, I'm so glad you gave us another chance. I did. So, I mean, I, we, we, Norm will log all of our gameplay into the app, I think, for Board Game Geek to track and stuff like that, in, whatever that is. But I think um, Jenny got the game worst scoring in Terraforming Mars. Absolutely. I've done that many times. <laughs> no, you so. can only get it once. In different games. <laughs> But we Some, have fun. Sometimes I win. Sometimes I win. Usually when it's unexpected. Yeah. But when oh. she thinks she's done horrible, 
And if you've yeah. watched our Lost Runs of Arnak video, you'll see that she cheats. I didn't And then cheat. she wins. It was an accident. I just forgot to pay my three money. Just your compasses, whatever. It doesn't matter. Well, you actually, the, the Lost Runs of Arnak will be played after this one. So if you later watch a video that was done in the past but will be our future now, you know what? He can just edit this part out or not. <laughs> if that one gets released. Or not. Um, but yeah, no, actually, uh, so Wingspan was the first one, and we have played that since we've played some other games and gone back to it, and now I love it even more than I did the first go-around. And uh, there have been a few games in between that have I've just really loved playing games and being introduced to new games. So uh, yeah, that's what... Oh, and this timeline here was not 1942. Disclaimer, that was a lie, and I'm not 80 anything. Um, 2021, December. So it's been about six months. <laughs> and she has since won some games. I have. Well done. Uh -huh. yeah. Well done to me. Thank you. Thank you. And so that's going to be what this channel is about. You've got a seasoned gamer in the middle and brand new. Newbie. I'm a toddler. And what we're wanting to do is with all these games that we have, we need to go through them. Because we have way too many. <laughs> we don't have too many. We have a lot. What we need to do is get rid of the duds and keep the gems and keep getting more gems. Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> we didn't discuss that part. So we're, we're going to have the exp the experience of a longtime gamer like myself who has made all the mistakes that longtime gamers have. When you first get into the hobby, you tend to grab everything you can. Mm -hmm. And you don't know what games you like yet. Mm -hmm. You don't know which, what mechanisms you like. And so you're just grabbing up all kinds of games. And so I've got games from 2009 all the way up. And what we need to do is play each of those games, talk about what we like and don't like about it, and then decide if it's a keeper or if we pass it on. So we, we've committed to not getting any more board games or kickstarting <laughs> anything until we get through the collection and get it in shape. That is not true. That's not true. There's a lot all. of games. There's a lot of games. They're everywhere. Everywhere. And so we're also going to be introducing these games to Jenny. So you can get the opinion from a new gamer who hasn't played these games. And I'm sorry, Jenny, but there are going to be some duds. That's okay. You. you but my, my philosophy is even if we don't like a game, every game is somebody's favorite game somewhere. Mm -hmm. So while we may give it a, a negative review, hopefully <laughs> as you guys get to know our tastes, then you'll be able to use our thoughts to help you make decisions on your games. Because you guys might decide that any game that we say we like, you absolutely hate. And if we say we don't like it, love you, you love it. And that's okay. And that's that means, okay. That means that this is a helpful video for you. That would be really sad, Norm. If every game we like, they hate it. Well, they don't have to play with us. Well, I mean, you're welcome to, but... We'll, we'll even play the games we hate. Yeah. So I think some videos will be us playing the games together. Some videos could be us reviewing games. Some could be solo versions. Um, and some... Maybe some surprises in between. Maybe. You never know what Jenny will do. You never know. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. So hopefully you'll you'll join us on this journey. You'll find some of these videos informative and help you help inform you on your own decisions. Uh, I think that a lot of the videos out on YouTube for board games now tend to favor the the new hot stuff that's coming out. 
and we're going to be looking at stuff going from 1986 Cosmic <laughs> Encounter all the way up. And so there'll be some reviews of old games from a modern lens and see if they still stand out because there's still a lot of really good games that have already been made that people might be snoozing on. Yep. Yep. So you guys want to close it? I don't know how we how we close this thing. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> I'll, do, I'll go. Go for it, girl. Uh, I don't know how to close this out. So here's what's going to happen. I'm just going to say a bunch of words right now. And then when he goes to edit this, it's going to be perfectly fine. Chicken. No, Sausage. let's no, let's not do it that Macaroni way. So we're just going to go ahead and say good night, goodbye, what? good day, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are, whatever time you're watching this. I mean, this. can we use different languages? Because there might be a different country. We thank know. you for joining us. We hope that you'll tag along with us so, on our yeah. exploration Clearly, and journey of not like board games. My ending. And <laughs> that's fine. We'll just do it your way with the. Well, it was lovely to see you all. Thank you for stopping by. Okay, and so I, I think. I think being on YouTube, I think we're required to say like and subscribe and oh yeah, hit, yeah. The, hit, hit the, the bell. bell and there's the, a button yeah. or a bell or something. I don't know. Yeah. Like and subscribe. We're new we to this, you know. I, I, don't, I, mean, I don't. I don't know. Don't, I don't know what we're, what we're really going to end sure. up. Uh, we just want to share games and fun with you. So great. And yeah. if you like games and fun, join us. Bye. All right. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye. Can I keep talking? No. <sighs>